Okay, so I want to talk El Nino. Yep. I want to talk where we are with El Nino because I hear a lot of folks saying El, El Nino's over. It's not over. Okay, so here's the here's the latest forecast. And then as you take a look at uh, where we are right now, if you're above that red line, you're in an El Nino, and we're in a moderate El Nino right now. By next month, it's a weakening El Nino, but certainly a moderate one right now. Moderate borderline strong. By April, it drops to a weak El Nino, and by May we drop into an ENSO neutral, neither El Nino or not La Nina, it's a neutral phase. So let me walk you through, and don't adjust your television set, you're in the middle of a tornado. That's right, it's tornado season in North Texas, and let me show you just exactly what El Nino Springs bring to North Texas. So I, I went back and I, I, I looked up this information, and when we have a typical El Nino Spring, okay, what happens for us here is our large hill frequency, it decreases, the potential decreases. That doesn't mean we won't have large hail, but the potential for large hail during an, a typical El Nino spring, which we're in the middle of right now, that large hail frequency, the potential does decrease. What about tornadoes? That potential too does decrease. That certainly doesn't mean we're not going to have tornadoes, but it does mean the potential for it starts to go down or drops a bit when we're in an El Nino spring, which we're in the middle of one right now. I went back and looked up these numbers since 1980. When we have recent springs with a weakening El Nino, what took, takes place in North Texas? Well, you go back to the spring of 2019. We had 25 tornadoes that spring. This is North Texas. The spring of 2016, we had 18 tornadoes that spring. The spring of 1998, we had five tornadoes that spring. So the average since 1980 is 18, and you're looking at this and you're going, well, I can't make this heads or tails on this. One's five, one's 18, one's below normal, one's below average, one's average, and then one's above average. What are you saying, Pete? And I'm saying, unfortunately, when you're looking in La Nina Springs, we know that the severe weather threat really goes up. In El Nino Springs, it's kind of a coin toss. Unfortunately, if you just look at the numbers and the statistics, just look at the data, the average is 18. We're kind of on either side of that. So we'll see what this one brings. But we do know all springs in the state of Texas produce tornadoes. And I do have severe weather in my forecast on Thursday.